Hello, hello, and welcome back for another round of cacophonous calamity and delightful disaster down in the ghastly graveyards and septic sewers of perfidious manner in Darkest Dungeon. And it's reunion time today at the old perfidious estate because thanks to some clever leveling in our adventure before last, Katniss and the crew are back in action. Oh yes, like the Captain and Tennille, Katniss, Bruinor, and the old Ron Weasley are reunited, and it feels so, so good. For them, anyway. I mean, it's probably going to feel much less good for some of the denizens of the dungeon, but I can't say I'm particularly concerned about the feelings and emotional well-being of a bunch of eldritch horrors and undead abominations. I was, however, getting a little worried about Ron Weasley, because he's been harboring a lot of pent-up rage and frustration, still, of course, from his time at Hogwarts, and without Katniss and Bruinor around to complete the world's greatest triumvirate of literary titans, Ron was completely lacking an outlet for his hate. And trust me, a bottled, pent-up, repressed Ron Weasley is basically like a puddle of spilled nitroglycerin. I mean, it's just waiting for an excuse to detonate. A repressed Ron is a hazard to every single person around him. So in the interest of maintaining Ron's calm and salvaging his relationship with Hermione, I've heard uh, rumors that things have been a little rough around the old Weasley homestead for Ron lately. Um, he told Simkin in confidence, and of course, don't let anyone know that Simkin shared this with me, but uh, Hermione's been sleeping at her mother's for like the last two months. So I think probably what we should do is saddle up the old gang here, put them to work, and see if maybe Ron can work out some of his aggression, and if a more relaxed Ron can't win back his lady love, because truly Hermione and Ron are destined to be forever together, and I simply won't have it any other way. So let's head down, take a look, and see what the old dungeon has on offer and see if we can't get Ron some work. Cleansing Corrupted Altars. I hate those missions. Also, this is a talisman that we actually already have one of and I think probably already use on Arya Stark, but we don't really need a backup. The Medic's Grieve for the Arbalest only. Not that useful, per se. What are you, a Reckless Charm? Eh, not that great. And I don't know if we've ever seen this before. A move amulet is bad. All of these choices are bad. All right. Well, I guess in the interest of getting the most possible EXP, then what we'll do is just do this long mission. Complete 100% of rune battles on a long mission. I don't mind. We also get eight crests, which we still need. Portraits are irrelevant. The 9,500 gold is nice. But mostly, we're looking at a long mission because this is going to give our team a chance to... Uh, sort of hone their skills the most. So it's definitely going to be Bruinor, Ron Weasley, and Katniss Everdeen. But we do need a third piled in on this, and we have some options. Or do we? Not really, actually. It kind of either has to be Florence Nightingale or Arius. You know, it kind of has to be actually Florence Nightingale, now that I think about it. Although we could do some of our level 4 trooper. This would be a chance to get Dorian Gray to resolve rank 5. There is definitely some advantage into doing this with Dorian Gray. Ah, now I'm torn. Alternate, yeah, you know what? I think we, yeah, it's, it's either going to be Florence Knight. You know what? No. I actually think we do this with Dorian Gray. I think Dorian is the right choice here, so we're going for it. Dorian Gray, this is our lineup. So a little bit of a new mix. Dorian Gray, the Victorian uh, adventurer, hasn't really got a chance to hang out with Ron, Katniss, and Bruinor a whole lot up until now. This is uh, sort of his premier run. Oh, you know what? Now that I'm looking at things, though, we do have a little maintenance that we need to do before we head down into the dungeon, however. We cannot have Ron Weasley going in without the finest in battle wizardry, wanding, potions, scrolls, and cloaks. So Ron's headed into the old blacksmith. Same goes for Garrett Jax, of course. Cadness Everdeen as well. And Dorian Gray is all buffed up. But you know what I think we'll do? Just so we don't forget, let's take old Bruinor Battlehammer in here and get him cranked up too. Just to, you know, make sure everybody's on the up and up, on the level, fully kitted out. And we'll do a little skill training as well. Let's get Ron a little extra bashing. Garrett Jax, similarly. And we're just going to spend... We're spending actually going to be quite a bit of cash, but this is cash well spent, all of it. I mean, this is all, all solid, strong investments and money well spent. Let's just double check and make sure Dorian Gray... Okay, he is maxed out. Excellent. Fan friggin'-tastic, then. That's got that all taken care of. We should check our survival skills while we're at it. Pretty sure these guys are already taken care of, but, uh, oh, they are not, actually. All right, well, I'm glad I looked. 
Encourage we pretty much want across the board. Let the mask down. Is interesting. I kind of like that skill. Bloody Shroud is n not that good, actually. In fact, it's kind of terrible. Reflection is quite good. Quarantine is also actually pretty good. So here's what I think we go for. We'll go for Encourage, Let the Mask Down, Reflection, and Quarantine. Bloody Shroud will let that be. That's one, really fucking gross, and two, totally unnecessary. Um, Garrett Jax is already taken care of. Katniss, I think, also likewise taken care of. Bruinor, you're good to go, pal. All right, then. And I'm pretty sure Dorian Gray is already sorted as well. Yeah, Dorian, okay. So everybody else is sorted then. Back to the dungeon. Let's let Ron release a little bit of his rage because, like I said, a pent-up Ron, it's bad. And Ron is pent up in more than one fashion, by the way. I mean, I'm talking sexually frustrated, too, because Hermione's been on her couch at her mother's for a month. Ron's starting to feel the pinch and the junk, and, uh, well, let's just say it's not improving his fucking mood any, because it sure isn't. All right, so we've got a long mission here. We're going to go pretty heavy on the provisions. We should have tons of opportunity to haul cash and valuables out of this, so whatever we spend on provisions, we should have really no difficulty making back. One of everything else, torches. Uh, I think we'll go with... Let's just do two full stacks. Should be fine. And let's get in, then. Stick it in, just like Ron has missing sticking it in his lady love, Hermione. Not that there's anything wrong with that. I mean, they're married and in a committed relationship. That's totally normal and healthy. Ron still, uh, though, needs some release. And I gotta tell you, Katniss Everdeen, she's a temptress. She really is. Hermione better think about what she's doing staying at her mother's like that. She's gonna drive Ron Weasley into the arms of Katniss Everdeen. That's gonna happen. And when it does, I'm pretty sure the literary world will never let Ron and Hermione reunite. And then Ron's whole get Jenny to fall in love with Harry and vice versa plan has all come to naught. Though he does end up with the winner of the Hunger Games, so maybe it's an improvement for Ron. I'm not really sure. All right, anyway, what I am sure about, we got a lot of a dungeon to explore. We got to do 100% of room battles. And hey, on the plus side, we actually have Dorian Gray to loot these uh, objects they art for us, so you don't have to worry so much about catastrophic exploratory consequences, which is always good because Dorian Gray was born lucky. Or is really lucky because he had a magic picture painted of him, which I suppose could also be a whole part of being born lucky. Not really sure how that works out. We are going to get some extra food. That's fine. I will take the dinner cart action. Picking up 8 food as well as 25 gold. The 25 gold, clearly the most important part of that equation. Alright, it's so a little bit of surprise going for us here. That is a solid start for us. I think what we'll do is just mark this ghoul. I actually would prefer to kill the ghoul first, if at all possible. He has stress attacks, the other guy is just going to do damage. Katniss starting things strong with a nice 21. That's a solid damage output from Katniss Everdeen. So, it's going to be a little bit of retribution. Yes, sir. Whack. Alright. Ruinor putting the repost on. And if Ron Weasley can do it, I th well, do we get... You know what? No. I was going to say we have Ron go for the Retribution buff to up his damage, but I was hoping we might get Lucky Critical there and kill this ghoul before he did precisely what he just did, which is hit us all with a freaking stress attack. I mean, I was hoping. Didn't really pan out, but I was still hoping. All right, we got to get this guy dead before he can do that again. Katniss Everdeen should be able to handle his shit. So let's have Ron go for a nice... Ooh, 20 damage on a Swine Reaver. That's pretty good output. He's going to whack Katniss in the face with a ball and chain. The stun is most unfortunate. That means we are not going to be able to kill the ghoul. That sucks. If he howls again, I'm going to be a little upset. Can we beat him on a speed roll? All right, Bruinor, this is your time to shine, pal. Bruinor can't quite get it home. Katniss will, though. Yeah, there we go. The monstrous thump from Katniss getting a little bit of that stress back for all parties involved. That's a solid, solid contribution. And our piggish friend there is missing his target and getting whacked in the face in return. Ron Weasley, of course. A little bit of bloodthirst well sated for the Weas. Got his first kill in for the day. That's really going to help his aggressive tendencies, I think, slightly. Do we want to go full on? You know what? Let's do it. I mean, we're under 42. We got a bunch of torches. Let's do a room or two in full darkness and see how this goes. I mean, we have plenty of camping opportunity. So doing a few rooms in the dark early and then camping... I think actually has some very tangible benefits for us. I'm very surprised that we actually got a... Uh, I'm surprised that we got a surprise on this one. Quite surprised that we got a surprise. If I say the word surprise one more time, it's fucking going to lose all meaning, so I'm going to not do that. Bruinor starting things off strong with a nice critical. That's going to get us again some more stress relief. Our critical chance is up, of course, because of the fantastic darkness. 
I think suppression is the right move here. We really want to reduce these uh, enemies' chances to critical us. So the critical penalty is really big for us. Ron is going to go for the damage buff. Bonus crit, bonus damage. We got the surprise round. Ron has an opportunity, and then, bam, can immediately deliver 38 aggregate damage. That's nothing to sneeze at. Nice dodge from Dorian Gray. Showing his stuff, looking sharp, looking fit, looking trim. Of course, he can't really look any other way. I mean, he can only look like he looks in his portrait. That's pretty much all that's allowed. But geez, he's a fucking as elusive as Robert Denby, though, huh? Here we go for the Abyssal Artillery. Didn't get quite as much damage on the Swine Spawn as I would have liked, but I think Katniss can probably pick him off. She can indeed. Oh, Katniss Everdeen, you young, lovely lass. Whatever would we do without your mighty bow backing us up? All right, so Ron is just going to go for the straight... Holy crap, Ron Weasley was indeed pent up. Jesus, look at that. He's in a Berserker Fury, folks. Ron Weasley, I mean, really, he's kind of a danger to his own team at this point. Holy crap. He's real angry. Real angry. What are you? So too will resistance. Interesting, but not fantastic is what you are. I mean, we already have a really good combination of trinkets. We don't really have anybody that can carry that. Damage stones. I can't, oh, we gotta take them. They're so good. They're so good. All right, we gotta get rid of some shit. I want the gold. I also want the damage stone. This I am less interested in, so I don't really mind sacrificing that. The question is, what do we get rid of? Ugh, we don't know. We're not spoiled for choice here. Can we eat food? Who can eat food? We have this extra four food, so if anybody can eat any of this food, we cannot eat that food. All right, well, we're going to throw it on the ground. we got to take the damage stone. We can't not. We take as much of the gold as we can. And then we got to get rid of something. I'm thinking bandages. We don't necessarily need them, and the healing amulet just stays right where it's at. Now, we are at zero light, so there's a there's actually a case to be made here for camping. We could go for the camp, get the buffs, but we're at zero light. Hmm. You know what? Let's uh, free up a key here with this heirloom chest. Glittering All right, so almost actually nothing that we want in the heirloom chest. We will take these for now. If we need to throw those on the floor, we can. Portraits we don't give a damn about. So that was actually a respectable trade there. Let's continue our adventuring. Katniss walking straight into a trap face first. That's a little unpleasant, but not really a huge problem. Five damage is no big deal. Um, You are bandages, which we just threw on a... You know what? Check it out anyway, Dorian Gray. All right, so we got... Well, we got some food. Might as well eat that. And I think that's going to be it for the fooding. Yeah. Um. All right, then. The busts, again, don't give a shit. Don't need busts. Don't care. Don't want them. Leave them on the floor. Pick them up. I mean, it's really nice to have a bust of Shakespeare or, you know, like a bust of Pallas perched just above your chamber door. But honestly, how many busts can you have in your apartment before it gets creepy? I mean, you're living there and you're surrounded by a bunch of fucking heads of people who are arguably probably all dead. I mean, after about your third or fourth bust, it starts to get into kind of a weird area where maybe you should reconsider your hobby slightly. Just saying. So we're going to get the mark on the ghoul. Ron Weasley can do effectively nothing from where he's at. Fortunately for us, Brunor Battlehammer can still bolster, and we're going to have him do that. Ron's going to get whacked in the face with a ball and chain. Not really a big deal for Ron. The stun is uh, kind of a big deal. In fact, it fucking sucks. All right, so some dodges, some stress on the how. A little bit of stress for Ron, a little bit of stress for Katniss. They're starting to creep up there. Um, I'm not ashamed to admit it. Let's get our party back in order. The surprise has been restored. A little riposte from Bruinor Battlehammer. Probably gonna have Ron the Wheeze Weasley. You howling son of a bitch. I mean, he's taking damage every time he does it, but the stress really is starting to add up. That's what we needed from little Cadmus Everdeen, putting a stop to that fucking nonsense right fucking now. No more howling out of you, shit stain. That shit out of my house. Cadmus Everdeen will not have it. She'll put an arrow straight in your throat. You'll never scream again because she's gonna sever all of your vocal cords. A little bit of damage there from Bruinor. More importantly, though, got the riposte off. That means our pig friend is probably going to be swinging at Bruinor. We are going to throw a little heal at Katniss, or a gigantic heal at Katniss. We actually haven't really taken much damage. It's been almost entirely stress-oriented from the Darkest Dungeon thus far. A little Butcher's Cut coming at Bruinor with an adept dodge for Bruinor Battle. And I gotta say, with respect to Bruinor, I'm really, really liking the Tough Ring and Ancestor's Coat combination. That makes his riposte really quite powerful. Book of Intuition, I know we already have one of. 
I do like it. It's actually not a bad item, but we don't really have a whole lot of abundant space to carry it out of the dungeon. And we do already have one, so it's probably okay to abandon it at this point. We don't necessarily need it. Uh-oh. Come on, Dorian Gray. Shit off, pal. You gotta knock that shit off. Fat indeed. Yeah, I'm gonna... We had the thing you put on that, by the way. What is it that's making you do that, by the way? It's gotta be bloodthirsty, I believe. Wounds, injury, and torture. Yeah, we should probably get rid of Dorian's bloodthirstiness. Um, when you're immortal, you really don't want to be in prison forever. And this is the second time we've gotten surprised, and it's gotten us completely boned with this party order. I actually don't want to move Dorian Gray yet. I really don't. All right, can we get a kill on anything? Theoretically, he could kill this corpse eater. And he did, in fact, kill it. Nicely done, Dorian Gray. That's a strong start. Katniss is going to back up. All right, so we get a little power vomit on Ron Weasley. The critical power vomit is unfortunate. On the plus side, Ron quite resistant to disease because he's already infected with leprosy, so there really isn't uh, much more you can do to old Ron. We're going to go for the bolster here for Bruinor, give everybody a little extra dodge. The ball and chain coming Bruinor's way. Not going to happen, sir. Not when he has bonus dodge. It's just not going to happen. Uh, give me the revenge. 12 damage was less than I had hoped to get out of that, Ron. Really was, buddy. Really was. Also, Ron Weasley is now marked, which is a little unfortunate. All right. What do we do here? Uh, you know, when in doubt, keep stabbing. Kind of my golden rule of thumb. When in doubt, stab, 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 stab. And continue stabbing until there is nothing left to stab. I find, uh... I find it to be a fairly adequate strategy, both in life and in general. Alright, so Ron Weasley's taken quite a bit more damage than I'm fully comfortable with. Um, give me a kill here. Damn it, Katniss, come on. We needed that one. You missed it by one point of damage. We we needed one more point of damage, and you did not give it, and Ron Weasley not helping himself out any with that fucking dodge, either. Alright, I guess we'll bolster again. More speed, more dodge. This bolster buff does stack. It is worthwhile to note. If I'd have known Katniss was going to wind up uh, missing and not getting the kill there, I would have actually had her reposition. We can't rampart from here, so I guess we'll just bolster again. Bruinor keeping everybody's spirits up when the situation is down. Our team has plus 24 dodge and plus 12 speed. I have to assume that our entire team goes before the enemy. And I really just kind of wanted to debuff there, and since we only needed one damage, it hardly mattered what Katniss actually did. We are going to move you. Katniss being in position two is a little bit unfortunate, but we're going to need to pump some heals into Ron Weasley here. Ron's in kind of a bad way. 15 damage from the Weas, less than I would have liked. I am pretty sure these guys are not going to be able to hit us at this point. Runor's got us so dodgy, I don't I don't really think we're going to be hittable. Kill for the Weas, a little stress relief as well. Give me a big heal here, Dorian. 13 is uh, acceptable. That's a pretty good margin. We're going to have uh, Katniss bump to the back. Ruinor is going to rampart forward. Devastating blow. There we go. All right. Oh, we got the stun, too. Fantastic. So we actually are going to get another round of healing on Ron Weasley for free, if we so desire it, and I think we do desire it. So we're going to bolster, keep that speed and dodge just as high as we can. Another heal for Ron Weasley. That's got him almost completely patched up. Would have liked Katniss to have gone first. We could have got the heal buff for Dorian down, but we'll take what we can get. We'll just go for a little withstand here. Nice stress relief from Ron Weasley. That is a way that uh, sisters are doing it for themselves these days. Ron Weasley can help himself out in the stress department. So if Ron gets high, he can crank it down on his own. We are wasting time with this rebel. Oh, come on. I was actually, well, I was totally grinding heels. All right, you got me, Dorian. I was totally grinding heels. That's that's fair. You busted me. I admit it. I, I did it. I was grinding heels. I was, eh, that's fine. I mean, don't really appreciate you calling me on my shit like that. But what's done is done. So we did, well, you know, that's a pretty good buff. I'll take it. We're still in the dark and we're still doing okay, although our stress levels are getting a little bit high. I think we may have to rally out of the darkness fairly shortly because the other thing we have to consider is wandering around in the dark like this, Shambler's a very real possibility and we don't necessarily want to encounter Shambler while we have a lot of stress. A lot of freak out potential if we were to bump into the Shambler while reasonably stressed out, so that buff may be going by, but oh, it's actually already gone. Never mind. That was like the shortest lived buff of all time. Interesting. I think we'll do one more room and then we'll camp. We could use the buffs. We also kind of need to devote some of that time to stress relief as well. 
Good dodge from Dorian Gray. I'm telling you, Dorian proving himself to be unhittable. Dorian, what the... Second wind is not fantastic. You know, actually some of Dorian's works aren't that great. I wouldn't mind having him take a look at the stack of books. I would overwrite one of these pretty happily. And eh, Ruins Explorer is fine. And this is where we're going to pitch camp here. In an empty room. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Or we could go one... Do, uh, let's be brazen. I'm, I'm going to get myself into trouble here. Every time I start feeling my wild oats and going out and going forth to sow those oats, I always wind up regretting having done it. Almost 100% of cases. Well, goodbye, holy water. Hello, emerald. Having to pick up both of these damage trinkets is a little unfortunate, but they are really, really useful. Um, who's our best trap guy? Well, it ain't Katniss Everdeen. Dorian is 50-50. That's all right. 40% for the battle hammer. And, you know, Dorian Gray. Looks like you're getting a call, pal. Nicely done. All right. Well, Dorian is holding it down, man. He has been remarkably dependable for someone as uh, self-indulgent and self-motivated as Dorian Gray. You know what? We got to mark this big bastard. Nice critical mark from Dorian Gray starting things off strong. That's good for us. We'd love Katniss to go next, but it's not going to happen. So let's get a little bit of retribution so Bruinor takes the damage. Every swing is coming at Bruinor with his fantastic dodge abilities. Ron, I think we probably need you to buff the damage a bit, pal. Little Munch coming at Katniss Everdeen. Don't get stunned, Katniss. The Blight is actually acceptable. Don't get stunned and don't get stressed. That's all we care about. We can pray. That's a marking attack. That's fine. We have two units that are marked now, but Katniss Everdeen is going to help us out here. Across the board. Bam. Debuffs. This guy resisted, which is a little shitty, but eh, we'll, we'll be fine. Ron resisting the Blight because he can't really Blight a leper. He's about as Blighted as he can get. The damage, though, is not inconsiderable from these guys. Ouch. All right, so Ron is hurting a little. 14 damage, Weasley. Man, I think maybe Ron has worked through his rage issues because uh, he's not exactly giving us the kind of thunderous damage spike we've come to expect from the mighty Ron Weasley. Brunor Battlehammer picking up the slack, though. A little bit of stress relief there. Brunor boasting about how he has outmaneuvered his foes. We gotta go for the heal here on the Weeze. Five points, not necessarily as much as he's gonna take from his next bleed. Katniss taking another Blight. Alright, so we've got it. Actually, Katniss is kind of in bad shape, Blight wise. Bruinor taking a critical, but getting the repost. This fight is not really going that sparklingly for us. I mean, it's not really very shiny, and I like it to be shiny. A little repost for Bruinor. That's better, Bruinor. Take six, deal 15. That's what we want to see out of you, chow. Dorian Gray. Why is it that Dorian can never heal big when we actually need him to heal? When we don't care about how hurt we are and we need to heal like five, he throws one for like 30, and when we need a big heal, he never seems to deliver. What's up with that, man? What's up with that? You know what? This is so wasteful, but I'm still going to do it. I'm actually throwing a whole stack of torches on the ground because we don't need them. This stuff, we don't. We're going to abandon it all. We'll hold off on the heirloom chest. Let's camp first and get some inventory taken care of. So, some good solid stress relief there. Now, we should probably focus on our most potent buffs. And then focus on stress relief, because we do need some. Instruction is real good. Weapons practice, though, is also really good. Let's put... We're going to instruct Ron Weasley. We got to get Ron buffed up as much as we can. All right, so we got nine time left. Ron, what can you do as far as getting rid of... You suffer 20% HP damage and everybody else reduces stress by 20 or 15. No, we don't really need that. Why We did not equip... Oh, son of a bitch. We did not give Ron the right stress abilities. Son of a bitch. We don't need to abandon hope. We don't really need the dark strength. Man, no, we don't really need to heal either. Marching plan is interesting, but I think we got a restring crossbow. And then I guess we're just going to go for a round of encouragement. Katniss Everdeen really uh, needs, uh, she needs a little bit of pep. Well, you can't do it because you don't have it. Katniss really kind of needs a bit of a pep talk here. So let's encourage Katniss again. How much time have we got left? We have two. Anybody else with encourage? You used yours. You used yours. You forgot to equip yours. So I guess we'll have you encourage Ron then. So it's just a round of uh, sort of self-congratulation and self-reflection. Everybody taking a moment. 
make their friends feel a little better. Ron inspiring Katniss Everdeen. Katniss in turn inspiring Ron. She is an inspiring figure, I have to say. She held up her fingers and did the <laughs> thing, and Ron stood up, held up his fingers with her, and it was a whole thing. Kind of snowballed. Things got a little out of control, and then the uh, police showed up and started murdering everyone. Wasn't necessarily great, but it was inspiring. Truly remarkable motivation. Um, can I snuff my torch while fighting? I cannot. Otherwise, I would. Alright, how do we want to handle this? Well, we got a repost. Bruinor start whacking, getting the repost score. That swine gore, if he swings at Bruinor, he's going to take one right into Nads. That, that gore is done dealing. Katniss catching a little power vomit. That's unfortunate. More stress for Katniss. Damn it, undoing some of the stress reduction that we... I just did that. I just cleaned that floor, you jerk. We just clean that floor, don't walk there. We just mopped. Fucking asshole. There's the Ron Weasley we've all come to know and love. All right, so Ron Weasley getting us some of that stress back with a mighty fine critical. Little hook where it hurts. Ron not having any of that, dodging right out of the way. Katniss is still getting power puked on like... Uh, I'm telling you, it's just like a... Uh, just like a sorority party at the sick new house back in 1998. It's not good. There's chicks puking everywhere. And we got the bleed. Fantastic. So, Katniss is bleeding and blighted. Suffering five damage around. That's not really fantastic. Gonna have her throw a heal here at good old Ron Weasley, because she can't shoot this guy in the neck like he so richly deserves. That's okay, though. Bruinor's there to smash his head in with a hammer. It's also how Bruinor Battlehammer uh, wound up in jail, by the way. Smashing people's heads in with a hammer. Yeah, there's a lot of that. All right, so let's get rid of some of this food. We'll just eat out this stack, finish it off. Um, you know what? We can probably make a start on this next stack as well. We've got a sorted Thorian. Check out this heirloom chest. We don't have a key, so you're just going to open it. It is trapped, which is unfortunate, but you resisted the blight because you're you and also immune to all forms of disease. It's just part and parcel with being Dorian Gray. It's sort of how it works. Onward we go, then. We're coming up onto a room that's going to have a fight in it. Pack contains loot. We're going to take said loot. Ooh, actually, the medicinal herbs are quite useful for us. A solid little fine. And into the... You know what? Let's do some torch action here. The light. We do want to try and keep stress at a minimum. We've sort of pushed our luck into darkness. Let's take advantage of this. Keep our stress low. We do still have one full camp action that we can use to help with the stress. So we're going to try and keep it low enough that not everybody needs stress relief when the mission is over. These puking, vomiting pigs, I'm telling you, what are these guys eating that they're so sick all of the time? Do you guys have some bad chicken salad? What's the deal, swine spawn? And also, it's all of you. You're all that sick all the time. Whatever it is you're eating, you really should consider changing your diet. Have you ever thought about the fact that you might be gluten intolerant, Mr. Pig? I mean, it'll do that to you. It's going to bind you up. It's going to make your guts hurt. You should really consider a gluten-free diet, Mr. Hog. Really should. All right, so we got the Drums of Doom, which is eh, six stress in our front two troopers. Actually, you know what? That's kind of worth trading the kill for. I'm okay with that. Gonna get rid of this swine spawn before he has a chance to yak on Katniss Everdeen again, because we've had a fucking ass full of that. And Ron Weasley with the kill. Four stress back for Ron. All right. Um, we don't need the shovel. I do want the ruby. What do we want to get rid of in order to take it, though? That's actually a bit of a tough call. We can't get rid of our shovels. Every time I... Ah, well, sorry, medicinal herbs. I'd rather have rubies. We haven't even used a shovel yet. It's important to note. But every time I have ever abandoned a shovel and gotten rid of it, I then have immediately needed a shovel. So this time, I'm going to not do that. And then there will just we won't need a shovel for the whole mission. But we'll have shovels. It's just the way it works. All right, so we get a bunch of swine spawn who are looking to... Yeah, they love puking on Katniss Everdeen. What is it with Katniss, man? She must be just like everybody's best friend because when anybody has to vomit, they always go see Katniss so she can hold their hair back. She's like the designated party puke gal. It's got to be a tough gig for Katniss. I mean, it's got to be not really that fun to go to every single party you've ever been to and have spend the whole time there holding somebody's hair back while they vomit. She's a noble gal, that Katniss, willing to sacrifice for her friends, though. Ah, uh, the stress is... Yeah, it's getting a little bit problematic. You're right, Mr. Narrator. We need more dodges like that from Bruinor, the Madman Battlehammer there. 
some very solid damage from Ron the Weez Weasley. More puking. Fantastic. You know, we do have a repose here. These guys should theoretically be puking. On Bruinor. Great. Cadness has bad humors, which... Fantastic. And freaking fantastic. Just kill these fucking things before they get a chance to go again. Well, I had hoped to go back-to-back -back missions with this team, but that is simply not going to happen. Um, we're going to need either probably some stress relief for Katniss or more likely a week in the sanitarium. So we really need to focus on getting Katniss's stress levels as low as we can right now. This stuff is all garbage. Speaking of which, Ron Weasley, we got to change your abilities here. Get Ron's camping skills sorted. We want encourage... Let the mask down. Bloody Shroud could go to hell. Reflection is real good. And quarantine. We've got the Wheeze Weasley sorted. Our goal with our next camp is simply going to be to get Katniss's stress levels down because she's at 87. That's a lot. All right, so we have some empty rooms, which is, you know, it's kind of a mixed blessing, actually, with the empty rooms. All right, Bruin Orc. Anything that can potentially cause stress has to be our primary target. Anyone who has a stress attack... They gotta die, like, say, that cultist. The cultist gladiator and a bone conscript, they get a critical in order to give us stress. I'm willing to take a chance that they are not going to critical, so that's fine. Ron Weasley with the kill. The bone conscript's still on his feet, but he's just gonna take a poke at Ron. It's not a critical, so we're fine. This guy is dead. And the triumvirate of literary champions. Well, actually, this is a quad of literary champions, really, because we do have Dorian Gray on here. I am not gonna abandon something for 25 gold. Burn a couple torches. Get our light level back up. Dorian Gray, check out the sack. It is empty. Aw, is there anything sadder than an empty sack? Especially if you're Santa Claus. What's sadder than Santa Claus with an empty sack? I ask you, in all sincerity. What is possibly sadder than Santa with an empty sack? This swine spawn is gonna die. We're gonna do everything we in our power that we can to kill this son of a bitch before he gets a chance to puke all over Katniss Everdeen because he's gonna puke all over Katniss Everdeen. I mean, it is the one thing that we know for certain is that he will yak all over Katniss. We're also not going to be able to do it, I'd like to point out. It's it's not going to happen. Literary. Solid damage from Ron Weasley, but somebody has to beat a speed roll. Oh, he actually beat him on a speed roll. Oh, Ron Weasley, you are the man. So the man. All right, Ron. Oh, you the shit, Ron. You the shit, boy. You the shit, dog. Ron Weasley, you the shit, dog. Huge heal for the Wheeze as well, and Bruinor is going to whack this Swine Weaver. Wow, that fight went remarkably well. All right, that's how it's done, guys. So it took them a minute to find the sort of find their groove here. It'd take them, you know, they, they needed a second to adjust. Not quite a full on feeling the Katniss Everdeen vibe. This is their first time out. So, I mean, just like any new organization or group, they needed a little time here to get their sea legs under them, sort of get a feel for things, see how things are going to go. Katniss, we want you to check out this Elder Chalter in the hope that you might get some stress relief, but you did not. That's all right. Katniss's stress is still quite high. I mean, it has gone down since the last time I complained about it, but it is still quite high. And we have just enough food to camp and do maximum stress relief, so... Um, we don't have... No. All right, well, we'll just abandon the moonshine barrel then. Nobody needs to drink any moonshine that hasn't been cleansed by medicinal herbs. This could theoretically be the end of dungeon, and if it is, we might camp here. We got a little bit switched up in the order, but that is not really a huge problem for us. These uh, these two gotta die. This cultist enchantress, the swine spawn, they gots to die. You can puke on Bruinor. That's cool, actually. I mean, it's not cool that you're puking on Bruinor. <sighs> Dorian Gray can take it. As long as it's not Katniss, we really don't care. Katniss is really the only one we're concerned about. Some nice damage from Katniss as well. And we should be able to puke the spawn dead with Bruinor in a bonk. Yeah, Bruinor's going to bonk that bastard. Bonk that bastard, Bruinor! That, uh, I just said a lot of bees. A little rent for the old gods. Ron Weasley will not be rent for old gods or new gods. Because Ron Weasley is not about to have any of your fucking shit. Ron Weasley is going to punish you severely. Or your truculence. Ron Weasley's just not going to have it. Bruinor can't quite get it home, but the repost is important in case this guy wins the next speed roll. He will swing at Bruinor. That guy's dead. All right, Katniss in the eye socket. There you go. That's the little deadly girl I hired. That's the girl we all know and love, Katniss. Um, let's throw a heal at Ron Weasley here. Ron's a little banged up, taking a bleed. Ron's actually bleeding quite a bit here. 
largely because of Dorian Gray, but uh, yeah, the decadent Dorian, he's going to take his toll, man. I mean, sure, he'll heal you up. He's going to patch you up, but you're going to pay a price. Dorian Gray is going to exact his cut. Taking the devil's cut, Dorian Gray. So, yeah, that was a solid little... I would like to get these crests, actually. What if we burn out our torches In radiance, may and take the crest? Victory. We still can't do it because we have one torch. Yeah, fine. Um, Let's put our party back in order here. Dorian, check out this makeshift dining table. Everything has been eaten already. All right, not really a problem. So we have to go. This is our final room, then. We will camp after this room because it's the last one. I don't really see any point in risking additional stress to go check out what is likely going to be an empty room. Start things off with some Abyssal Artillery from Dorian Gray. Reasonable damage output. Get the bonk from the Fusilier. These guys throw their AoE attacks. Bruinor's going to whack them. Well, at least one of them will die from being whacked. Do they both just be... Oh. Katniss missed it by one point. That's all right, Katniss. We still love you. He's dead anyway. Everybody dodged, and Bruinor smashed his head in with a hammer, because that's what a good Bruinor battle hammer does. It's all about bashing craniums with hammers. And Ron Weasley, speaking of bashing, holy shit, Ron. That's a, that's a fine little comeback, pal. I'm going to regret doing that. I already know I'm going to regret throwing that shovel on the floor. I'm going to regret throwing that shovel on the floor. Um, actually, you know what we'll do? We'll grab this. Come on. Grab the thing. There we go. And we'll actually burn it. Hey, yeah, yeah, perfect. Struck. A blazing star. So this is a final fight. We have about as much light as we could be expected to have, which is good because we got a couple corpse eaters here. Teeny tiny surprise, but we can fix that with a little bit of rampart. So not a big deal. Dorian Gray can start things off. We'll mark the large corpse eater. We'll have old Bruinor battle hammer rampart his way forward. Get the party back in order. Didn't get the stun on the corpse eater, which is a little unfortunate, but not really. A Holy shit, Katniss Everdeen. The girl on fire is fucking on fire, folks. Katniss Everdeen, the girl on fire. That critical is somewhat unfortunate, but she has reduced her overall stress. Girl on fire is on fire, though. Fiery girl is fiery. Ron Weasley putting out an acceptable 20 damage. Bruinor going to take a tentacle devour. His not on repost, which is somewhat bad. Why was Brunor not reposting? What did we have? Oh, we had to rampart because we got mixed up. That's right. All right, so a couple more criticals, a little more stress relief. This guy is all but done dealing. Ryan Weasley's going to hew him in half, and that's end of shit right there. Uh, we'll burn that. Sure, why not? As the light gains purchase. And there is no advantage at all into heading over here because this room is empty. There is one interactable. I really don't want to take this hallway stress to get over to it, though. So we're going to camp instead. Let's pitch a tent. Like Ron Weasley's been pitching a tent lately with his lady love out of town. And, oh, the sultry Katniss Everdeen. She is right there, and I uh, gotta say, she's tough to resist. All right, we can completely focus on stress relief here. Unfortunately, we don't really have an abundant... Okay, don't you have something that reduces everybody else's stress? You do. Let's do that, then. All right, so that's good. Your stress is at zero. So we don't really need to worry about you anymore. Bruinor, do you have anything that does anything with stress? You do not. So you're going to encourage Katniss Everdeen. I'm going to have you encourage Katniss Everdeen. Katniss, you're going to encourage Dorian Gray. And Dorian Gray, you're going to encourage Katniss. It's just everybody fun and games. Encouragement all around. And that's got us down to six stress being our highest. We don't really need to abandon hope. So, let's uh, just bail. We, we're done with that dungeon. We don't need to do anything else with it. Resting only has a chance to get us ambushed, which we don't necessarily want to have done. Very solid haul of cash, though. Woo! 22 grand and change. I will take it. We got a ton of crests as well, which is good because we need a ton of crests still. We have one upgrade remaining, and we're getting pretty close to having that upgrade finished, I think. All right, so Dorian Gray making it to Resolve Rank 5. All of our folks getting 8 Resolve EXP. That's a solid, solid amount. Stress Eater's got to go. I don't like Stress Eater. I also fucking Calm has got to go because that's real shitty. Slayer of Unholy's pretty good. Tough, I'll take it. It's not fantastic, but it's okay. So it looks like Team Weasley and Katniss and Bruinor are going to be out of action for at least one mission while we deal with some of these unfortunate quirks. Katniss also picked up bad humors as well, so... Two of the triumvirate of mighty literary titans is going to be out of action. Of Halfcock Jack got rid of his stress. 
Radrick Escher, also no stress. Madeline Escher has found Meditate to be a perfect fit. She's now a meditator. I would have preferred she not pick that quirk up. I would have preferred she just got the stress relief. I mean, I'm glad she had a good time, but she had much better quirks than meditator. Anyway. All right, what do we got? Yeah, 16 pounder and a formless flesh. All that's left to go. Yep, yep, yep. That's all right. So let's do our uh, sanitarium duties. Again, we have a couple people, Dorian Gray, looking sexy at rank five. I got to say, it looks good on you, Dorian, buddy. It really does. Also, you had something we wanted to get rid of, was it not? Uh, calm and bloodthirsty. We got to get rid of both of those. So Dorian Gray is going to spend the next couple weeks undergoing a little journey of personal improvement and revelation in the dungeon. Uh, stress eaters, got to go. And Cadmus Aberdeen does not have bad humors. No, no. All right, so let's get that taken care of. Um, we will not be taking Susan McAllister until the patch, uh, the Corpse and the Hound patch comes out, which actually comes out on the day I'm recording this. Actually, comes out tomorrow, so we are looking forward to that. Susan McAllister is probably going to have a chance to run around with our Houndmaster. That being said, though, we probably should let her go drink some, just get rid of that stress, so that if we need her with our newbies, she is ready to roll. Alternatively, we could just drag a rank one Houndmaster through a higher level dungeon with some of our rank four troopers. There is a case to be made for that being a positive thing to do as well. We did do that once with Bruinor. worked out pretty nicely. But that's all of our maintenance. And with that taken care of and Ron Weasley's much pent up a rage, frustration, and hate purged for now, we're going to send Ron to the sanitarium. When he gets out, he's going to be a much better, much happier person and hopefully go home to the loving arms of his lady love, Hermione. And I'm going to wrap things up, hoping, fingers crossed, Good things for that relationship. I'm shipping Ron Weasley and Hermione Granger. Can't help it. I just I got to root for the little guy. If you enjoyed the episode, of course, feel free to drop a like down in the comment section. Your support really does mean a lot to us. And if you'd like to see more Darkest Dungeon, consider subscribing as well. We post new episodes every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Right now, however, thanks very much for watching, and we'll see you again soon.